it all starts with a single event. An event which at the time can seem insignificant, but it topples the first domino, drops a smooth pebble into the pond, and as one by one the dominoes fall and the ripples in the pond start to spread, that one event becomes a life-changing moment. Which, at the time, you didn't even spend a single second to reflect on. You just carried on with your life. A life with a career, nice car, a disposable income and family holidays. In the blink of an eye, a momentary lapse in concentration, a convergence of circumstance, life stops. And everything that you think you had is gone. Only to be replaced with hospitals, doctors, consultants, x-rays, MRIs, CAT scans and medication. And then more medication and recurring trips to accident and emergency. Soon, your old life is gone and you slip uncomfortably into a new life which is unfamiliar and unforgiving. There are roughly 7.6 billion people in the world and everyone has or will have a story. A falling domino ever expanding circles of a ripple in a pond. Whether we choose to tell our stories or whether we remain silent passing through our day mindful that society preys on the weakest and any form of failure is judged harshly by those who know nothing of you. Or whether you choose to tell your story, potentially opening yourself up to mindless and uneducated criticism in the hope that you can inspire people to share their moment in time as their domino falls or as a pebble drops into a pond. My story is just a grain of sand in an oasisless desert, never to be discovered unless I choose it to be. I have never spoken about it to anyone, and I have no idea why I choose now to speak to everyone. This is why I escaped into the forest.
We put our faith in science and doctors and years of medical research to, for want of a better expression, cure us of our ills, but we must also take some responsibility to help cure ourselves. We have to help the science by willing to accept not all cures come from a pill or a potion. This can sometimes be a hard truth to swallow and digest. To stress over the details I'm minutiae of the new life as I have learned is to be crippled with a fear and untrusting of people, a fear of the outside world, a perpetuating circle of misery that grows as you continue to ignore the fact that you are not as you were and you must adapt and you must change. We find solace in our loved ones, our friends and our family and the initial support is overwhelming. Like a hurricane with you in the eye, you watch helplessly as everything and everyone spins by trying to shield you from the storm. But like all twisters, they gradually lose their momentum and within a short period of time you're standing with the loyal few, alone, amongst the devastation. But it's not until we swap solace with solitude that our minds can reflect, learn and adapt without outside influence. We fear being alone, but in certain circumstances we should embrace it and wander out into the loneliness to listen to the sounds of the world, the traffic in the street, a train in the distance slowing to pass a crossing, the rain on canvas and the light crackle of an open fire as you warm your hands. Because the world sounds different in an empty space, and those sounds change as the day slides gently into night. The wind creeps through the trees, almost silently, the only tell is a slight breeze you feel on your cheek as you listen intently to the sounds of the forest. And as you stand still, listening to the faint ambience that surrounds you, it is then that you can truly hear yourself. The vastness of the forest opens up your mind and the constraints of everyday thinking are freed as you now begin to see the path. To survive in the openness, you must be willing to give yourself over to it not to fight it, but flow with it, as to resist will only hinder you. I guess this could be said for life itself. We gain knowledge from doing and failing. The more we try, the more we fail, the more we learn. And it's in this system of development we expand our knowledge, the experience of failing and succeeding, adding to our experience and shaping our characters. There is a serenity to this as you accomplish small tasks in the solitude of your own mind. To focus on the present moment in time and understand your own feelings and the world around you, you will help your mental well-being. This can be called mindfulness.